Hey, good morning everyone. Tractorman44 here. Hey guys, you know, uh, I've done several different videos in the past on uh, neighbors' wells going out. Uh, and it's, it's, it definitely is a thing when you live out here in the country. You know, you only got one choice. That's to call a pump repairman or, or somebody like that or a well driller. Well, for the last 30 years, 35 years or so, we've taken care of our own issues ourselves. I've amassed together a conglomeration of components, parts and pieces, scrap material of a job site and other things that I bought at pawn shops things like that to build my own rig for pulling my own wells. This particular well we're going to pull today is my daughter's. She lives 500 feet up the road from me and her well is 420 foot deep. If you'll stay with me for just a little bit, this video is going to be only assembling the uh, the rig that I put together for pulling this well. Now you have to remember, now we've got PVC pipe in there and it's a much easier to pull. But back in the day, this is all one inch galvanized and we had to build it substantial because with 21 links of 21 foot pipe, there's a lot of weight there. So we replaced it when my old neighbor, years ago before my daughter bought the house, uh, we replaced the well pump once they had a, uh, a lightning issue, they had a pump failure. And so we went back with PVC way back about 25 years ago or so on these. So this PVC is a lot lighter, it's a lot easier to work with. That's the reason why we've got a rig built as heavy as we do. So we got to start just by unloading all this stuff. It's all gas pipe material and things like that, you know, and a bunch of welding. And we're gonna string it out. Next order of business is uh, attaching these uprights. With these bosses pinned in place on that uh, that half inch uh, half inch steel on both sides, that's the pivot point that allows the A frame to go up and down. One side's in alignment now. You have to snug those down real quick. Now it's time for the $50 pawn shop fire threading machine and the uh, half ton boat winch to come into play. I can slip this fire head off. 
and pull the winch out manually by hand. We have a headache ball made out of a bowling ball. That's just to be able to drop the cable back down if we don't have a load on it. We can reverse the winch and let the ball pull the cable back down to the ground. Once elevated, we'll be, use, be able to use those blue straps and the chains and we will tie those off for triangulation to make sure we have no stress or very little stress on the actual pipe. Kind of gives you a little more perspective of the height. Well, I know right now you guys are asking me what's the deal with these guys right here. I'll explain that in a minute. Let me get this tightened up here real quick. Okay, guys, here's the deal. This pipe right here, this bracket right here, serves one purpose, and that's to triangulate or steady this whenever I'm raising it up so that I can put a pin in it and keep it from going over the top and falling on front of the tractor. Obviously that's be a good thing for that not to happen. Okay, so that's gonna, gonna also hold it in position to where it can't fall forward whenever we put pressure on it by pulling the weld. But because there's a tremendous amount of strain right when you start pulling the, uh, the weld pipe because of it's stuck into that, uh, into that uh, socket that's on the side of the weld casing and you've got the intense amount of weight filled with water and all that stuff, you know, there's a, a pretty good amount of shock right there, and it may have a tendency to cause that upper, that upper extension to want to begin bending. And so the additional dual chains and the blue cables that are going up there is going to actually create a, a triangle on top of a triangle in order to maintain stability. So that when we, in, we, we subject it to that intense shock or that potential shock, whenever we jerk everything loose, we're not going to cause a crumble or a collapse. So far it's worked okay. This might be the first failure. See how high those two blue chokers attach on up there? That's transferring the point that that pole is going to want to bend from all the way down here where it extends out of that, uh, that three-piped extension, that Y-shaped extension. That ultimately is the weak point right there, but now we've changed that by transferring that pressure, that down pressure that's going to be exerted by the pipe coming out of the well, uh, we've changed, we've transferred that point all the way up there at the top where it has very slim chance of bending. So guys, there you can see exactly what we go through in order to assemble this rig for pulling out a well. And we have pulled quite a number of them back and forth out here on the ridge. And so we're getting ready to do this tomorrow. Uh, the son-in-law is going to take a day off from work. I've got everything ready. We're going to back it up, center it up over top of the casing, and we'll go ahead and get a start in the morning. And we've got 21 lengths of 20-foot pipe that's got to come out of the ground, if I remember correctly. Again, I've not pulled this one since several years before they bought the house, and I pulled that pump and actually changed it out and put the PVC in uh, at that particular time years and years ago. So, hey, you know what? Hope you guys enjoyed it, and this is Trackman44, and I'm out of here, guys.